recently just reacted to one of the millions of videos from Christians that call anime demonic, which has been doing great per my standards for a small channel. But one of the things that upsets me a lot about being in the Christian content space is that it's often the things that get the most engagement are the things that are promoted as things we should abstain from or we, that we should be afraid of. I'll just use anime as an example because this is an anime channel. Uh, you could have a young TikToker be the most realist over a topic with which they know nothing about, but just because they slap Christian jargon or Bible verse over the things they disagree with, it's automatically assumed as demonic and that Christians should stay away from it and have no part in it. Not realizing that anime and the culture from where anime comes from is a medium that helps tell stories. It's not that much different from Christian authors like C.S. Lewis creating the Chronicles of Narnia or Tolkien creating the Lord of the Rings. They use various elements that we as Christians would consider as demonic in order to tell a grander story about Christ. Like, it's crazy. Like, you know, the context that also use stories to tell a message it's just a little area where Jesus comes from, right? Like, you know what I'm talking about. The biblical story itself includes things like murder, adultery, idol worship, and all of that is given to not give the prescription for the reader to do those things, but description to give details to the story that's taking place. It's literally the same thing with anime, storytelling. I can't think of anyone who wants to start creating a manga or anime, and is plotting to have everyone that consumes that content accidentally worshiping an idol or sinning. That... It's not the case at all, but there are very real avenues that do want to make that a thing. It's the difference with the Bible is that it's an actual true story that points to Christ and him crucified. That's that's the main that's the main difference. But should that difference keep us away from reading certain stories or watching certain anime? I don't think so. I, I think it depends on your on your conscience for sure. Brothers and sisters, I think we could do better in our engagement of culture. Uh, I think we need to critically think about what we're saying and, and being engaged in the culture doesn't mean you're of the world or that you're compromising Christianity or your faith. But as a Christian, God has given you a mind to critically think and look for nuggets of the gospel in every single area of your life and ways to bridge the gap in order to point to Christ. So that people in other cultures and the things that you like and your interests would see that even the things that they love dearly, like anime, won't satisfy them. We need to stop doing takes that make it seem like every little thing is of the devil. And it's, and it's really not. It's just your own opinion or conviction that God has given you and, and that's okay. This doesn't go for everything. Like there are some dark things out there and like some anime can be very over the top. But painting a broad stroke over something just because you don't like it is unfair. This is not a knock on younger content creators or content creators in general that are using their platform to spread the gospel. Like, keep rocking out for Christ. Keep exposing evil. Do what you gotta do. But if you are viewing everything black and white and you don't think about the culture you're engaging with before you speak on it and before you ask, the anime community is a culture. I find it ironic that when people not of the Christian faith misrepresent us as Christians, we go to lengths to tell them that they're wrong and to do their due diligence of being accurate. But for the things of media and culture, it's not given the same grace. Like, I, we can do better than that, right? The flaw that sometimes we as Christians have is that we either view things as all bad and irredeemable or we look at them too positive as if this, some of these things are not contrary to the faith. Like, there needs to be a middle ground. Like the way that someone commented on one of my videos quoting someone they knew saying, is your God so weak that a labor of man can undermine it? And this is a question we have to ask ourselves. Jesus in the Gospel of John put it this way. My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they will never perish and no one will snatch them out of my hand. Or Romans 8 when Paul says nothing in all of creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. I trust that nothing is strong enough to snatch me out of my Savior's hand. And if you think so, that there's something is, then how much of faith do you actually got in him who gave his life for us? Just a thought.